Hello, my fellow vampires! This is Malucha, and welcome back to V Rising. In today's episode, we are gonna do something which I have been farming for for quite a while. Uh, we still got a research table that has a lot of stuff that we need to unlock, and apparently the Athenaeum, I think it's called, is the next tier of research that we can do, and it is actually really close by. So I kind of wanted to finish off all the research that we still had to do before we got to the point where we could start the research on the Athenaeum. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go pick up some scrolls and uh, all the books that I collected during this week. And uh, let's see what we can unlock. So I've been doing a lot of farming for scrolls. And I do mean a lot of farming. And I've also uh, been doing a lot of... Uh, building scrolls so yeah my room got a little bit smaller right now and on the other side we have been making uh, a bunch of scrolls so i have the flooring for the paper press uh so the library flooring so i was like okay let's just let's split this room into let's put up down a bunch of paper presses so on the other side i have been making paper there we go so they're basically done let's pick these up and on this side i've basically been implementing them and making a bunch of scrolls now it you do need gem dust but with the flooring it's only nine which is still pretty expensive so i have been or i should be devouring not on i've been uh eating up all my regular and the uh well the tier one gemstones basically for uh the gem dust because every one of them gives uh 16 gem dust I do not want to use the uh, highest level ones. No, nope. we changed the chests. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of kind of small rebuilds, I guess you could say. So yeah, we uh, we kind of split this room up as well. And now in the next room, we basically got our jewel crafting room. Uh, we don't have the flooring yet for it. Uh, with golden uh, jewel crafting. And then crude gems, they are all gone. Regular gems, I basically held on to one of each. And then the flawless gems. Because the next tier of necklaces that we're going to be able to build is going to be out of the flawless ones. So definitely wanted to keep those. But once we can start using flawless gems... It's 64 gem dust, so that is basically really, really good. But we need to be higher level to properly farm them. Uh, this is this is the amount I got from my uh, silver farm. But first, we are going to see if we can max out that research. Now, during my farm for the uh, scrolls, I did find a lot of books. Uh, this uh, I found a lot of duplicates as well. So basically, I destroyed them, salvaged them into 15 scrolls so i got a lot of scrolls from those as well so let's take these all and then uh, go to our research table and actually see i think it was 23 different types of research that we still needed uh with the amount of books that we have we still needed eight so that would be around 600 scrolls and we have i think around a thousand so I really wonder what we can actually all unlock. So assortment of storage lockers. So bigger storage, guys. I think bigger storage. And then a slim blood case. So assortment of storage lockers. Let's research this one. And omen wardrobe, distinguished wardrobe. Kind of want to look at everything as well. Research storage. Storage container and what do we need? Iron ingots and planks. Let's uh let's build one. I'm gonna grab a bunch of resources so we can actually uh, instantly also play with it. Check out what it actually does. There we go. A container that holds up to 35 items and we have a container for what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times four is uh, 28. So seven more means 35. So it's just one row more. And I'm not really sure. Like, I kind of want to have a chest that's double this. Like, that would that would be really, really good. That would be really good. But I think this is, like, the max storage. So let's uh, place two and kind of see how they look. Can I not place that one? 
How do that look? It's actually pretty nice. Simplistic, but nice. They're really wide, though. They're really wide. This one is a little bit smaller. I think it's the same depth, but they're kind of smaller. So I think you can fit like three of these between the two arches. But you can only fit two and a half of these, I think. So we're definitely going to need to uh, play with that later. I'm definitely going to like change every storage box that I actually have into these big ones. Although I, I kind of love the big bookcases, like the high bookcases. But if these would fall below the curtains, that would look beautiful as well. So for now, let's uh, trash these. <laughs> gonna gonna trash a lot of items, but don't really care. So what is the next thing that we got? The slim uh, blood case. Okay, so let's learn that. And uh, let's check out storage. So we need glass for that one. Uh, I, I think I'm not gonna have only the most delectable vintages. Okay. So a glass bookcase, uh, glass, does that mean that you can see what's in the bookcase? That would be really, really nice. That would be really, really nice. Let's check it out. Okay, so it's a, uh, yeah, it's a bigger one. Oh, look at that. So it's with glass bottles in it. And it's a regular 28 container. Yeah, this definitely will be will be good in my prison. Maybe even in my throne room to actually put in all the flasks with the hundred bloods. That would actually be good. Like this one in my throne room with then like a storage simply for all the, the hundred die bottle bloods that I have. Yeah, let's leave this one here for now. Kinda it really does look good. So next on our list is an assortment of uh, fine braziers. Let's quickly check. Research castle, exterior universal lighting. Standing lights. Elegant braziers. We need iron bodies for that. So the plain old modest brazier, And then we have... Natural? Okay. We have Ardent. Can we place them in a row? And we have Elegance. Doesn't fit. Let's take a look. So this is the regular one. So it's basically the same fire, I think. Yeah, these two are a little bit brighter than this one. I really love like this one, like the metal metal type. Like I'm not really a fan of the gold gold type. They might come in handy later. So we got different braziers. Okay, good, nice. And what do we got next? An assortment of pelagic vases. Let's research this one. That's a lot. I'm I'm gonna place every vase that's uh that's in here. Uh, statue vases. So we had the auger vases. Oh, with flowers in them. Okay. And now we have... So regular pots with plants in them. Or empty. And this is a, a pot on a pedestal. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. And let's... Uh, yeah, we get, we're getting stuff to decorate, guys. Red chairs. Okay. Omen chair, nocturne chair, distinguished chair. Uh, exterior, castle, curtains, paintings, pillar ornaments, walls, floors, carpets, windows, wallpapers, curtains, no paintings. Still need to play with the paintings. Structures and decor, fences, paths, water supply. Where the hell is it? Furniture. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, this is... Yeah, these are these are chairs we can use. Like the wooden chair really didn't look good. Now we only need to have like proper tables and I can actually make 
like somewhat of an int uh, like a dining hall uh but we still need an upgrade for a castle but yeah uh, ext uh better better uh, uh well how should i put it um yeah better chairs let's just put it like it is uh so i guess better tables is gonna be in her somewhere cobblestone path the ability to uh, construct cobblestone path so not a uh Ooh. So is that the same as the other path that we had? Floors, carpets, windows, walls, exterior, borders, fences, paths. So this is a more straight line. Yeah, but last time we tried to work with the paths. And it didn't really fit. This one seems to be, like, properly lined off. Maybe... This one could actually work for outside. We are going to have to redo our garden. <laughs> I feel. Well, maybe later on if I extend the castle and I'm actually going to extend the garden, then we might actually play with these as well. But yeah, really good that we already have them. Uh, we got an assortment of colored windows. So now we can actually color our windows. I don't think I have a window in this room actually. Yeah, we probably can't see it either. So, where is it? Castle? Windows? Okay, so now we get red windows. So, it's the same type of window that we get here. But now we can actually give them uh, different colors. Okay, that's that's interesting. That's definitely interesting. That way, if we have like a purple room here, we can go with a purple window in this room as well. Okay, that's definitely that's definitely nice. That's definitely a nice, uh, nice did. But yeah, uh, what do we need for these? Gem dust. Uh, gem dust. Well, we're using a lot of gem dust right now, so I have really not a lot to spare. But really nice colored uh, uh, noble fences and fountains. So different type of fences for outside. Okay. So exterior fences. Ooh. Oh, look at that. So it's not a straight line anymore. Like it, it kind of is a straight line, but it has like the the arches on top and then the point in the middle. Oh, this is actually a really nice gate. This is a really nice gate. I do wonder if it will work between the pillars, because it kind of has like two small pillars between them. Oh no, there's there's uh, small fences on the sides. Yeah, it should work. It's actually pretty nice. Let's uh let's, let's let's change our fences up in the backyard. Yeah, just look at the difference between the two. I like the little bats in between them, but I like this one a lot more. And it actually has a light on top of it. And then this is like like I said, a straight line. It has the, the points on top of it, straight line. But this one is like a straight line, but it does have like a little curb in the middle. Yeah, definitely gonna change up my entire my entire area. I knew this was gonna... I knew this was gonna happen. We removed the fences and we let him in. Can I... Do that? And... Watch out! Go back, go back, go back, and... Fence, and... Fence. Yeah, there we go! Bye-bye, you're back outside. I kinda like him. I kind of like that he's wandering around the castle a little bit. Like, that's the only reason I'm, I'm not killing him. Like, it's another entity that kind of gives, like, um, a, a kind of visual aesthetic. I really love this guy. I, I, I wish I could name him. I wish I could name him. But yeah, this, this looks a lot better. I really like the fences with the little light on top of it. I really like it. Alright, let's uh, go for the next uh, research. So the next one we got is banners. Uh, so another ornament to actually hang on our walls, I think. So castle... Pillar ornaments? Yeah, they're pillar ornaments. Okay, so we got kind of purple ones. Okay, so they fit in the middle of the pillar, which all, which is kind of going to interact with the... Uh, oh, so we have... We have ornaments that hang from the sides. That's actually pretty cool. 
That's actually pretty cool. And we have ornaments. Oh, we both. Uh, we basically have both. So we can hang one flat on the surface, or we can hang one sideways on the surface. That is actually pretty cool. Like definitely, like if I imagine my dining hall, I'm definitely gonna use these. Yeah, definitely gonna use these. They are amazing. Okay, really, really nice. And yeah, once, uh, like I said, we kind of need uh, to repair our gear. But why repair our gear when we can just research the next tier of gear and then use our broken gear with a little bit of metal to just increase it. And that way we only need to re repair our boots, which is going to really, really handy. So armor, let's uh, research. There we go, there we go, there we go. And that means we also get the four set bonus, meaning we get movement speed, uh, increased attack speed by 4% and increased gear level by one, which is really, really good. And then we do have one ruby pendant. So let's uh, research that one. And I do believe, like I said, these uh, pendants, once we can craft them, I do believe they're gonna take the third tier of um, the third tier of gems. Uh, that's why I basically kept as many as possible. And then, yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten more. That's 750 scrolls. We've got 1,013. Let's see if I can actually. Hmm, I got two Merciless Iron Spear. Merciless Iron Spear. So I already had that one. Well, that means I got 30 more scrolls. That's that's not bad either. So let's see if we're lucky. Fire resistance brew. Okay, nice. So our brew increases fire resistance. Hell freaking yes, I need this on me 24-7. Like, I need this on me 24-7. Like I said at the start of the episode, I died so much to those freaking archers and their fire. It is incredible. It was it was it was painful. It wasn't incredible, it was painful. Okay, let's uh let's go. Nine more. Merciless Iron Reaper. Did we get uh slashers? Yeah, we already had the reap no we I don't think we had the Reaper yet, but we basically got the general soul reaper. So I think this one is actually better than the no, it's gear level 18, gear level 18. Okay, so it's basically the same. Okay, even the stats are the same. Uh, physical uh, physical power, physical damage to undead spell power, uh, spell crits. And then we have physical damage to undead spell, spell crits. So yeah, it's exactly the same. So it doesn't really matter. There we go. What is this? Wrangler potion. A potion that increases movement speed when mounted by 15% more movement speed on a horse oh can you can you imagine that with the beast blood that lets you get more movement speed holy hell you are gonna be able to rush through the entire map on your mount if you do that that is really cool that is really cool we got that merciless iron crossbow hell yes we're getting lucky guys we're getting lucky one two three four five six more come on come on Yes, another emerald necklace unlocked. Five more. Fine dining table collection. So we're getting better tables. Let's quickly take a look. So where were they? Exterior? No. Universal? Mirrors? No. Uh, production? Castle? Castle? Exterior? Water supply? All right, we have the fountains. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these two with the bat. I am a fan of this one. I really am a fan of this one. That looks amazing. An elegant alternative to the water well. So we can remove the water well and actually use these to actually create, uh, well, somewhere where we can pick up water but have more, more aesthetics in our garden. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Uh, research, no. Where the hell are they? Castle, floors, walls, carpets, windows, wallpaper, curtain, paintings, pillar, ornaments, exterior, no, universal, furniture. Yeah, here they are. So it has like edges on it, a straight one. Oh, that's fancy. That is fancy. 
Oh, and a big one. Yeah, for a, definitely this big one. Definitely if you want to create like a row of chairs, like a dining hall. Definitely the big one. And then maybe like the smaller one in my, in my bedroom or something like that. Yeah, okay, so we got the fancy chairs now, and we got the fancy tables. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be able to uh, decorate properly. Let's continue, guys. Two, four left. Four left. Are we lucky enough? Tail ring floor? Mert floor carpent. Mert floor? Cobblestone? Mert floor? I don't, I don't think we had tail ring floor yet. Do we have the tail ring floor? Let's quickly check. Cause that is no, we don't have the tailing floor. What do we need for tailing floor? I'm instantly gonna apply that one. Tailing floor, cloth, blood essence. Yes, I got enough of those. So flooring, which one? We got the striped pattern, but I kind of feel like this one would mix too hard with the red carpet. So let's go for the green one. See what it gives. Yeah, red and green? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe if we can later on when we can actually build a proper room for this. Uh, we can actually... Yeah, look at that. We have the matching floors now. Like, everything is gonna... Oh, it's only 15 cotton for cotton yarn. Hell yes. And then, yeah, these are becoming uh, cheaper as well. That's really good because uh, I think ghost yarn is kind of close by as well. Uh, silk is a little bit off. Imperial threads we can already farm. So that's not really an issue. But I think ghost farm is close by. So having a cheaper version. And also for the tail ring benches. If we want to make gear. Uh, the next tier of gear. We still need to find scales, pristine leather. And yeah, ghost gar uh, yarn. To actually go up a level. Um, yeah, it's going to be cheaper to make these. So that is good as well. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. Really, really happy about that. Let's continue. Three more. There we go. Some Merciless Iron X. Merciless Iron Sword. Prison Walls. Definitely want to check the prison walls. It has to be fancy, right? So, this one has regular stripes on it. With then... Like a medley... Medley bar at the bottom. This one has change on, uh, chains on them. Let's uh, go out of build menu. Hmm. Yeah, I like these more. I like these more. I kind of feel like I need to do something like this. This one here. And then the rest. I'm going to fill up with stripes. Something like this. Yeah, look at that. Prison walls. Oh yeah, that's really nice. And of course, let's uh, give him some walls as well. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, that's definitely good. That's definitely good. I don't really like that it's a black line here. And the black line doesn't continue. But you don't really see it all that hard. Should I do... This and this. Yeah, I think that's better. I think that's better. I need the prison floor, guys. I need the prison floor. Let's uh, close these up. Yeah, and I put in doors, like, everywhere. Uh, simply because when my NPCs are home, not that they're uh, home a lot, they basically, if a door is closed, they basically open it and close it again. So I really love it when I close all the doors and I hear the NPCs going from one room to another. Like, again, it gives me, like, an element of, uh, well, an element that moves in my castle. Uh, like, other players might be here or other elements might be active. And yeah, we got all the research done and we got a bunch of scrolls over, which means we also got a, a bunch of, um, well, dust over <laughs> that we... Maybe you can use to make schematics later on. Uh, but yeah, we're done. And this is why it's so good to actually not repair your gear. Well, when you don't have to. Like, I knew I was going for the upgrades this episode. 
So that's why I didn't repair them anymore, even though I was still farming. Because basically they only take like nine iron ingots and the broken piece to make a completely new piece that is better. So let's craft this one, this one, this one. And yeah, we do need to ore craft hollow fang boots again. How much are new hollow fang boots? So 666. How much is the repair cost? 844. So it costs less iron and less wool to repair them. But it costs more yarn. Here we go. And let's click it. Repair it. And equip the entire set. Ooh, baby. We just went up. We just went up. And a full set this time, guys. Oh, baby. So good. How do we look? And yeah, nothing really changed. Kind of looks the same. Maybe a different color? Does it have a different color? Yeah, the other ones were green. These are more red and blue. It kind of fits better with my hat. I do have to say. I do have to say... Decoratively speaking... These chests are really not nice. Uh, the good thing about the Omen wardrobe is kind of they kind of fit nicely together. Uh, the other wardrobe... They kind of, if I can actually do it over here, I should be able to if I do it like this. Block by unit. Unit is me. Like you can see that there's like a distance between them. I don't really like that. I don't really like that. And also if you got like a lot of these in the same line, like the wings on top of them, don't really like that either. But aesthetically speaking, like, this is the best I could do. This is actually the best I could do. I could try something like... Maybe this? Give me, give me a second. Like, if I want to turn it around, like, this is the distance you kind of need. And that leaves really little room between them. So, if I would actually... Pull these back like this. I could do like something like this, right? Like I kind of did uh, before, but then again, it it just it just doesn't feel right. Like if we go here and then like have all the small bookcases, it really feels like library sections. Uh, I do. I did remove a couple because I replace them to other parts of the castle but i just i just don't feel these like aesthetically i really don't feel these there we go a bunch of research done the entire table is now finished and with a with a steady heart we can move on to the next tier of research without having to worry that we still didn't have stuff unlocked from uh, the previous tier and yeah, the bookcase, it does give increased uh, increased, increased loot, uh, well, increased storage, but it, can I say this? Yeah, I can say this. They're just not pretty enough. Like, they're really, aesthetically, they're not pretty enough to make the change in my base. I really love the long, the long bookcases, and then especially, like, they're actual bookcases. Like, you can actually make a library out of it, and... They just really look good. In some in some locations, I'll probably use it, like mostly in the in the areas where I actually do my crafting. But for the general loot, um, I'll probably stay with my my regular bookcases that I have right now. And uh, yeah, that's uh, gonna be it for this episode. In the next episode, of course, we uh, we got silver now, so there's a uh, there is a change that needs to be coming, and that is actually. A change in weapons we need to go for those silver weapons we need to get more powerful now that we got a new zone with level 60 mobs and we're barely getting level 60 we need to get better we need to get more powerful so we can actually farm properly in those zones but i'm gonna wrap it up for this episode if you want to see more of my let's play here in v rising or any other game i might play on my channel just hit that subscribe button it would always help out a lot I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.